guys, today's video is a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right here. This is using the Anastasia, I keep saying Anastasia and I'm trying to teach myself to say Anastasia. Artist palette. This just recently came out. I purchased mine at Ulta.com. I don't know if they're still in stock or not, but I'm pretty sure I purchased it like the day or the, the day after it came out. I wanted to buy it because I have so many neutral palettes and this one just looked different to me because they do have other neutral colors thrown in the mix. This is actually a really, really easy, like ridiculous, like ridiculously easy makeup tutorial. <laughs> Which is okay, right? Because it's like one shadow, kind of. And I feel like there's so many tutorials out there that it's like, that are really hard to recreate. And I feel like this is pretty easy to recreate. I know it's a little bit out there because it has like that super bold yellow under eye. And in person, it's a lot more intense. Like I didn't think this yellow color would be as intense as it is, which I'm glad it is. Um, Cause it's really pigmented and I really like it so far. So yeah, I like this palette. I give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see how to get this look, I did my whole face, but if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. I'm going to prime my eyelids with Max Painterly Paint Pot. It is my all-time favorite. You guys know. I'm going to take the Artist Shadow. What? The Artist Palette and the shadow called Buttery. It's a creamy matte vanilla shade, and I'm going to set that paint pot with that shadow. I'm gonna take Dusty Rose. It's a beautiful Dusty Rose color, a little bit mauve -y. It's seriously stunning, one of my favorites in this palette, and it blends like a dream. And I'm going to apply that in windshield wiper motions into my crease using a big fluffy blending brush. This matte purple color is called Aubergine, and it's really, really pigmented, but you do have to kind of like work in little sections. So I'm using this on a flat shader brush, and I am just packing that onto my eyelid. And that's going on my entire lid, but I'm not going to take it past the crease. With a smaller fluffy brush, really similar to the MAC 217, this one's just from Sophie, I'm going to go back into that dusty rose shade, and then I'm going to blend out the harsh lines that the aubergine shade kind of made, if that makes sense. <clears throat> Now I'm going back into that flat shader brush and I'm doing the whole thing all over again because a lot of the color does get blended away once you start blending in the crease. So I'm just doing it all over again and then taking a little bit more of the dusty rose and just blowing out the look. I want it to be really smoky in the crease and kind of fade nicely. I'm going to take a small little brush and add the buttery shade underneath my brow bone to kind of lift the brow a little bit. So I'm going to start on my face. I was like crying because I was watching uh, The Voice, which constantly makes me cry. But anyway, I am taking the Makeup Forever Hydrating Primer and I'm applying that to my entire face. And then I'm going to mix both of the Maybelline Matte and Poreless and the original Fit Me. The original Fit Me is a lot more dewy and the Matte and Poreless is obviously Matte and Poreless. They're both from the Fit Me line, but I find that combining both of them together, I get such a natural, beautiful finish. And I'm using an e.l.f. stippling brush to apply that. For concealer, I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear and I'm taking this on like a pointy little brush from Sedona Lace. And then this, I'm, what? I'm going to drag it across my eye to kind of sharpen the makeup the eye makeup, as you just saw, if that makes sense. So yeah, covering my dark circles and then cleaning everything up with this concealer as well. And I'm also highlighting a little bit more with my Maybelline Dream Lumi, Magic Lumi? Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer in Ivory. So I am adding some more underneath my eyes and then highlighting other parts of my face with this concealer as well. And then I'm just going to blend that all in using that same brush I used to blend out or to apply my MAC concealer. I feel like I cannot speak today. I don't know what's wrong with me. So I'm going to take my favorite product ever. This is the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Kit. And I'm going to take this uh, Morphe blush brush and I'm going to dip it into the shade Light Cocoa. And this is going to set my concealer and bring a lot of light underneath my eyes. It's a beautiful like matte but kind of glowy 
highlighting powder. I love it. So yeah, I'm going to finish off my eyes before I go on to the rest of my face. I'm going to take this color called Fresh. It's a very vibrant, matte, bright yellow. And on a Sigma pencil brush, I'm going to apply that underneath my lower lash line. I'm going to drag it down pretty far, as you can see on my other eye. Um, yeah. So I'm also going to bring that into my tear duct as well. And I'm going to be very, very messy with this. I'm going to apply that sucker all over my lower lashes. And I'm going to extend it to where the purple is as well. I'm going to take this buttery shade again, buttery, yeah, buttery shade again, and on that same pencil brush, I'm just going to go over my inner tear ducts because I don't want it stark yellow on the inner corners, just like a light yellow. This is the NYC Liquid Eyeliner, my favorite. It's nice black and matte, and I love it. And I'm just going to do a typical wing, and of course, I can never catch that on camera, so yeah, just do the wing like I normally do. I added some false lashes, and now I'm using the L'Oreal telescopic mascara on my lower lashes. Not too much because I don't want to take away from the yellow under eye, but that pretty much completes the eye makeup. Now I'm going to contour using the medium cocoa powder in this contouring kit. This one is like a very cool tone brown, so it's perfect for contouring. And I'm using that on a brush that my friend got in her Ipsy bag um, and gave it to me. So yeah, I'm using that to contour. I love this for contouring. It's the perfect undertone. It's seriously beautiful. And it smells like cocoa, so you know, I like it. So yeah, just contouring my face like I normally would. The sides of my nose and my jawline and all that stuff. And now I just want to warm up my cheeks a little bit. So I'm taking a fluffier brush. This is from Zoeva. And I'm dipping it into the medium cocoa shade in the kit. It's a lot warmer as you can see. There was something on that brush. I don't know what that was. But <laughs> it's warmer so it gives a nice warmth to the skin. It's nice. I love it. Like I love it so much. The only thing I don't like about the contouring kit is that shimmery highlight. I don't like it at all. It's like glittery and weird. So to highlight my cheekbones, I'm using this e.l.f. Sunkissed bronzer in the shade Sunkissed. You can't tell on camera, but it gives the most beautiful golden glow and it's $2. I love it. Now I'm going to line my lips using the Too Faced Perfect Lips lip liner in the shade Perfect Nude. I love this lip liner. It's like my favorite. I've talked about it plenty of times. But yeah, I'm just going to overdraw my lips just a tiny bit. Not too crazy. But yeah, I'm going to do that and then just fill them in. And then I'm going to go over it with a lipstick. This is Revlon's Super Lustrous Lipstick in the shade Pink Cognito. It's a nice shiny lipstick. I love it. And then that completes this makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.